Hello, I'm Mike Zima and welcome to this Shopify marketing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom and remarketing audiences in your Google Ads account. At this point, you should already have your Google Ads and Google Analytics account linked and your conversion tracking configured. If you haven't done it yet, please refer to our previous guides. Step one, enable remarketing in Google Analytics. Log into your Google Analytics account. Go to the admin settings by clicking the gear. Under the property view, select audience definition. So scroll down, click audience definition, select audiences. Now, under the enable remarketing, press the next step. You want to make sure you add your audience destination. Choose your Google Analytics and Google Ads accounts if they haven't already been connected. And then go ahead and enable them. Now you have automatically created all website visitors audience in your account. Go back to the audience page. Step two, add remarketing audiences. Now you have a choice to do this either in Google Analytics or Google Ads. Just keep in mind, if you create audiences directly in Google Ads, they won't be shared to your Google Analytics account. And when you create audiences in Google Analytics, you have an option to share it with your Google Ads account too. For remarketing audiences, we recommend using Google Analytics and Google Ads for custom ones. Step 2.1, add new all website visitors audience. Press add new audiences. Choose all audience. Change membership duration from 30 days to 180 days. Name your audience all website visits. Press next step. Add your Google Ads and Google Analytics audience destinations and press publish. Step 2.2, add more desired audiences. Now follow similar steps to create audiences for new users, returning users, users who visited specific sections of your website users who have completed a transaction. Step three, create custom audiences in Google Ads. So you wanna make sure first, if your screen is locked like this and you don't really have a toolbar, make sure you switch views here. It opens it up uh, and it allows you to at least navigate the account a bit more freely. So log into your Google Ads account and navigate to Tools and Settings and under Shared Libraries, select audience manager, switch to the custom audiences tab and press the plus sign button here to create your first custom audience. Step 3.1, create audiences based on interests and purchase intent. Come up with a relevant name for your audience and add the desired keywords that describe your ideal customer's interests and preferences. Now I have an estimate here of my impressions. This is usually pretty wide, uh, but we can also see the breakdown of some of my demographics here and I can save this audience now. Step 3.2, create an audience based on search terms. So go ahead and click the plus again, name this audience. Now this setting lets you create an audience based on what users search for. And relevant keywords and name your audience accordingly. So people who search for a keyword, we're doing Korean cosmetics. There's a couple of auto select terms here. 
and you want to make sure you have good keyword research in order to build these audience up uh, and we can start getting a tr trend here and looking at the desired outcome we want to achieve with some of the keywords we, we may al already be bidding for to build really comprehensive audiences. Step 3.3, create audiences based on competitors, website visitors. This is probably the most useful one. And I think if you spend a lot of time on social media knowing who your competitors are, you should check this out. So click create new audience and under the expand audience by also including people who browse types of websites. Enter the competitor's website or create a separate audience for each competitor website. Name them accordingly. So I'm gonna copy in a website I've already tried and I'm going to name this audience. If you start having a lot of audiences, make sure you concentrate on your naming so you can find them much more easily and go ahead and save this audience. Step four, add customer list if eligible. Switch back to the remarketing tab, press plus, choose, plus customer list from the options menu. Upload a file with your customer's contact information. Please note that you need to meet certain criteria to be eligible to use customer match. So if you're not eligible now, take advantage of other remarketing audiences meanwhile. This is pretty common in accounts that are just being set up. So make sure you're being proactive about other areas in your Google Ads account as well. Now you know how to create Google Ads remarketing and custom audiences. Don't be afraid to experiment with adding various audiences to your Google Ads accounts and using them to improve your advertising efforts. In the next tutorial, we'll walk you through the setup of your first Google Ads search campaign and show you how to apply these audiences to your ad campaigns. Want even more marketing agency secrets? Then subscribe now and don't miss any of our tutorials. And also, thank you for watching this video. For more marketing content, you know where to go. Any questions, drop a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer back.